Welcome back everybody. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. Thank you all for watching again. I've got another one for you all today. I've got a, an unboxing of a new T7 Touch. This is, I think, Samsung's latest hard drive. It's a portable SSD. SSD is the way to go these days. So, it's for Windows, Mac, and Android. If you haven't checked it out, I'll leave a link down in the description for y'all to check this out. You can buy it anywhere, Amazon, Sam's Club, Costco, all that good stuff. I will leave an Amazon link to it below. Currently, I'm using a WD drive. So, this is my current drive right here. It's a WD drive, four terabytes. And surprisingly, I have already gone through four terabytes of storage. So that is why we got this new T7 Touch. And I'm excited to show you all today what it's all about. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Here we go. So let's see what we got here. So, keep opening this up here. Got all the accessories right here. I don't know how well I feel focus. Got all the accessories. But the main reason why we have this video today is for the actual Samsung Drive. That's cool. That's really cool. Look how thin it is. So it's very portable as you all can see. It has a fingerprint, like a fingerprint design on it. It has a fingerprint access thing, so it's unique to you. You can only access this drive. This is the two terabyte. They make all the way up to four terabytes, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it is. So let's see here. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this little guy with all the accessories. So there's a type C to type C cord. This drive does take type C, so that's convenient. It's nice and sturdy. One thing I didn't like about this WD drive is how this has this little tiny thin metal and I don't know if this is an SSD or not it's called the my passport I don't remember if it's an SSD what else was there, there was something else in here there was a USB to type C for people who have USB computers or whatever to be able to plug that in so let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see what we've got we've got an extra port on this side right here Go and plug it in. Wow, look at that. That's cool. That's neat. So whenever you plug it in, 
if you're using Mac, you want to go down to your finder, which is this little thing right here. Click on that, and it'll pull up this page right here. You're going to want to go to T7 Touch and install the package, and then go to continue, continue. This is basically installing the drive onto your computer, so it's basically doing the software and all that stuff. So then it's going to come up there, it's going to show up there. System extension block, just hit open system settings, and then hit allow, enter your password. And so it's asking me to restart. So I am going to go ahead and restart. There we go. So while that's restarting, if y'all haven't checked out the last video of me unboxing this camera, go ahead and check it out. It's really cool. This camera has a lot of cool features on it. Definitely worth checking out. The link to this camera is in the description of that video. I recommend going to check it out. Also, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Let me know what you think of this drive. It's a really neat drive. I'm excited to use it. There we go. Okay, so here we go. So you can do, so you all can do a cool thing with the little touch thing. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do security with password and fingerprint. So I can have that do a fingerprint type thing. So now it's asking me to register my fingerprint. I'll update you all once I get this setup process done in just a minute. Well guys, finally got the SSD working. Very happy with it. I'm excited to finally have some more storage because I was very, very worried about not having enough storage on this other drive. I gotta get to work on transferring some files and moving some stuff and getting this video edited for you all. I will see you all in the next video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and the bell icon. Leave a comment down below what you all want to see in the future. I'll see you all in the next video.